Have you been using ChatGPT for project management? Well, maybe you shouldn't. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you an alternative, a new solution called Cloud AI, which you could actually use entirely for free and which may actually be more useful and provide you with better output. So I'm gonna delve into this tool here today. I'm gonna to be showing you some prompts because it does work in very much the same way. And I'm also gonna be showing you some examples of what we can get out of the tool. But before I begin, you're probably wondering why I'm recommending a new tool altogether. Well, I'm gonna briefly mention what Claude is. So this is a new tool that's been produced by a company known as Anthropic. Now, if I just, I've just opened up this document uh, help page, which essentially just gives us a brief overview of what the tool is and what it does. So it's a large language model, which as ChatGPT is itself, built by Anthropic, it's trained to be a helpful assistant in a conversational tone. Now, this is why I'm going to be recommending it. I've been playing around with this tool quite a lot, and this particular component of the tool is really, really useful for certain use cases, and I'll be showing you that throughout this video. Now, there are a couple of different ways to interact with Claude. There is the chat, which I'm gonna be showing you in a second, and there's the API. That's out of the scope of this video. It's the chat that we are looking at, and that's exactly what kind of chat GPT is, hence the name. So, the common thread behind these interfaces is Claude. The way you talk to it is mostly the same, regardless of, regardless of which interface you use. Okay, so that doesn't actually apply to us. Now, what I've done uh, ahead of this video is I've signed up to a new account just to show you exactly uh, the process of, of, of signing up. So this is what you can kind of expect. I will drop a link in the description below, which you can use to access uh, this tool. I think it's cloud.ai, but again, I'll drop the link in the description. Um, when you sign up, you need to enter your email address and then they'll send you a verification code. This is a completely fr uh, free tool at the time of recording. So it may change, but at the moment there is no um, paid plan, at least if you're using the chat interface. I think the API could be slightly different. But I've literally just signed up to a new account just to show you, and I'm just gonna be walking you through what you can kind of um, see as you, as, as you kind of end, enter your, your passcode, uh, and then I'll show you the interface and then how to use it. So here we go, it's a little bit of a, a demo. So Claude is in open beta, so you do need to remember that. So again, like exactly the same as ChatGPT, you need to be a bit careful of some of the output. And this again is a disclaimer, which is important to, to bear in mind, okay? Um, but we'll just move on, but I did need to just kind of show you that. And here we go. So this is a little bit about the usage policy, terms of service, etc. We don't need to look at that for now. If you want to see this, sign up to your sign up for an account, and then you can you can uh, kind of look at that in your own time. Um, and then yeah, here we go. This is just something to note. It's a very new tool, so bear in mind it could change. So when you go through that kind of tutorial at the start, you will enter the chat interface itself. Now, what's really really cool is it gives you some example. Um, prompts and the first one is very very interesting indeed and you might have actually noticed this little paper clip now as you notice in ChatGPT, it's not currently possible to attach uh, attachments that you may want to analyze so that's going to be our first prompt now bear in mind this is, works in very much the same way as ChatGPT. i'm actually of the opinion i'm not opinion i'm of the understanding that claude the, the people behind it were kind of kind of broke off from the uh, chat GPT. Uh, I, I believe they were kind of part of that team. I could be wrong, don't quote me on it, but I believe this that the founders are kind of, um, were involved in that kind of creation of that tool. So let's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the first prompt now, and then I wanna show you a couple of other prompts which I would recommend based on the sp specific um, benefits of using this tool. So you could, the first one I'm gonna do, and I've prepared this document ahead of time. You might have documents like this, you might have a data like this, but what I've essentially done is I've just pulled together a very, very quick data set. And as you'll see, there's not much information in here. Chances are you've probably got one that's a lot more comprehensive and it may be completely different. This is for a port, this is almost a portfolio summary. So I've got a various different projects. I've got start and end dates, a budget, a cost, and a project manager. Now, I'm doing this with limited information just to show you the use case. You should uh, explore this tool and use your own data um, 
you know to 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 to, to see what you get out but obviously you may need to consider your your um, companies or organizations data uh, compliance and and their views with ai tools just bear that in mind as well i don't want to you know you to get in trouble make sure that your your company are aware or everything's okay with that so this is the file that we want to to analyze now i believe the only way to get this into cloud is with uh, a, a saved as a csv file so i've done that i've pressed i've created this as a file file save as and i've saved it as um a csv file now we head into cloud or claude i'm not quite sure what it is to be honest maybe you can correct me in the description below if you're already aware of this tool now we're going to add this file so click that button and then you want to find your file so i've called this uh, claude analysis and i'm jumping to and from cloud and claude i'm not quite sure we'll call it claude now <laughs> i don't know it seems better so we press open now you need to add, add a prompt so i'm just going to give you an example again explore these prompts maybe change them uh, edit them maybe add some more information but this is a good starting prompt so again always be polite please analyze i'll put that in english so you might want that in american depending on where you're watching from please analyze the inform uh, i will put data set data set in the attachment okay now what you could do and this will vary depending on your data set you could say something like provide some insights and key takeaways from the data I'm gonna do this for now of course we can refine it I just want to show you a starting point so here we go here are some insights and key takeaways from analyzing the data and what it's very very interesting is it's instant so I don't know how it's done that it's some somehow access the CSV file instantly and if we look at the top it's project budget and cost analysis so it's actually kind of taken upon itself the uh, it, it, this is what it wants to look at based on the data so here we go. We've just got some key summary of, of, of this data, which is quite interesting. Um, now, some of it's very, very obvious. And for this, for this particular data set, it's probably not necessary. But if you've got an extended list, you know, maybe you've got hundreds of records, this could be very, very valuable. So here we go. Project A went significantly over budget. The budget was $900, but the cost ended up being $1,500. So in summary, so we've got a really nice summary of this file. So imagine if you've got PDFs or really, really extensive documentation and you don't want to have to sit through it try and analyze it, you could just put it into cloud or Claude um, and you'll get these kind of insights, which is really, really cool. And like ChatGPT, you can add future prompts. Um, you know, you could say something like, thanks, obviously got to thank the tool, but please focus on the project manager. I want some insights to, I don't know, provide to senior management regarding let's put their performance i don't know why i'm looking at other project managers like this but i'm just giving you an example of, of how we can kind of refine you know add a, a, another prompt and kind of refine the output further so here we go here are some insights focused on the project managers jill heath managed project hey this suggests jill may have struggled with cost estimation and budget management for large projects interesting poor jill um, but yeah, as you see, what I'm trying to show you here is how you can kind of focus on one column or you can draw analysis based on a particular component of your data set. OK, so here is, you know, the first kind of prompt and use case. If you click this button, it's going to take you back to the home page. And as you'll see here in the today section, we've, we can go back into that chat, if you like, and bring that back up, which is really, really cool. So that's the first prompt. The second prompt I want to show you, which is where I think Cloud is, Claude, is really, really, I won't keep doing that every time, I'll try, oh, I'll try not to, where Claude is really, really effective is this one. I am a project manager, you could put that, or you could put, you know, I'm an account manager, whatever you're using, you know, whatever your role is, I'm a project manager working for, and you could put something like your organisation in here. I'm going to put, I'll put Google in. Um, that's not true, by the way, just to mention that, but I'm just going to put that in. I'm a project manager working for Google. OK, um, I need to provide a status report via email to the project team. I want to include key summaries, uh, uh, include a key summary of actions, tasks. I'll put ETC. Again, what I'm trying to show you is how I would kind of give a prompt to this tool um, and, and you can always kind of refine it further. 
please, you could put something like, please generate a template, or you could say, please write the email, please write the initial email. And you know what, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's just leave it there, okay? Let's see what happens. The more specific you can be, the better. Um, because you're going to be, a, it's gonna basically have more of an understanding of what you're looking for. I, I find the vaguer you are, the less kind of, the more you have to refine it further. So here we go, this is quite interesting. Now, what I just like about this, if you look at this, this actually seems really, really human. So one thing I've noticed with ChatGPT is it's sometimes it's really, it sounds robotic, and that's what Claude's really, really good for. So this particular element and, and type of prompt is really, really good. And this is what I would suggest that you kind of use it for. Anything that ha requires kind of conversational tone, as we saw uh, back here. Conversational tone, that's the basis of this tool. So if you need to do any kind of communications, this is where I would use it. And it, as I've said, it is free at the time of recording. So you could then refine this further. You could say something like, you might want to copy and paste something in like, uh, the task list for next week is, and then what you could do is do a semicolon, you can even put quotation marks, copy and paste it from somewhere you've got it on your computer. Um, and then you could say, include this, you know, that kind of thing, okay? So that's a really, really good prompt. So we've done two prompts. Now the final one is, um, is, is less about the conversation. So I've just shown you there about a status report and email. You could do that, um, you know, for various different things. You could perhaps do, it, do that for an agenda or something like that. But this prompt is quite interesting. So create a project plan for a, um, for a finance project with key milestones, key milestones and subtasks. Uh, I want columns for start, end date. Uh, we're gonna put status. What else might we want in a project plan? Uh, we might want comments, <laughs> an area for comments. Um, and let's just put, uh, let's leave it there for now. Let's leave it there for now. And then what we want to do is we then want to say, please uh, provide this in tabular form. Okay, let's see what happens. So here we go, brilliant. It's done exactly what I've said and it's put some dummy data in as well. So really, really interesting. Um, obviously this isn't perfect. I've not given it much information, but you could, interesting, interesting. So that that is, is, is very useful, but you could refine this further. Now I don't want this video to go on too much longer. I can always release more videos on, on Claude. If you're still watching and you want me to do that, please leave a comment in the description below. Uh, but I did just want to introduce this potential use case, how you can create templates uh, based on um, this tool. And, and, and you know, I've, I've, I've got other videos on using ChatGPT to create templates, but I actually think Claude is as, as good in, in some respects. Um, let's just say, please, I just wanna give you another use case. Please provide us, us, me with a risk register template that I can start using straight away. I'm gonna say again, please, please provide in tabular form. And the reason why I'm mentioning tabular form is because you could then quickly copy and paste that into Excel. Uh, now, obviously it depends on your tool. You might not want to do that. But here we go, look, this is, this is, this is great. Um, this is a really, really simple, classic risk register. It's got all the kind of key columns I'd want to bring in. I like the fact that that's bolded. So, you know, that's already pre-formatted. Got risk IDs, which is great. And we've got some examples as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's kind of perfect. Obviously something like this is completely made up, but you could take that out. Really in this particular prompt, we're asking for the, the template uh, rather than the actual risks themselves, which you'd obviously need to update depending on your project. So. Here we go, and that just gives you an over overview of what it's included. So yeah, this is a really interesting tool. I'm I'm relatively new to it. I've been exploring exploring it quite a lot in the time since I discovered it. 
Um, but I do suggest, it's completely free at the moment, so I completely uh, suggest you kind of sign up and just start playing around with it. And maybe, you know, it depends how much time you have, you may want to add the same prompts into ChatGPT uh, and Claude or Cloud and see what you get back. You may find that one's better than the other for your particular use case. Alternatively, and I've done this in the past, I've entered prompts into ChatGPT, uh, I've got the output and I've gone back into Claude with the output and I've said, please, can you reword this um, in a more conversational tone? Or can you please, you know, so you can actually use both tools simultaneously as well. Um, that's just an idea. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button uh, and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I do have an entire playlist on using ChatGPT for project management, but that playlist is also going to include other tools like Claude going forward. So just do bear that in mind. And with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.